Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. <laughs> <laughs> we should leave it that in. We should leave it. Well, we should. We should leave it that in. Yeah, I, I uh, can't we can't now. now. You know why? You flustered me, bitch. You know why we can't leave that in? Why? Because I. You just said the N word. Stop <laughs> with this! You're gonna convince people that's real. I was like, what are you talking? It's not. Did you see that TikTok where it's like this girl and this guy? Hey, welcome back to the basement yard, guys. Um. This girl in the sky, and, and a letter pops up, and it's like we're gonna say the same, we're gonna say a word, oh that come, first word that comes to our mind until we get one that's correct. And the first one is J, and she's like John, and he's like jump, and it's N, and they both pause. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Yo, well, yeah. what do you want to say? Huh? Yeah, like, what was that? Welcome back, glad to be back. Yeah, the boys back in action, just like Looney Tunes. I don't know about you, but I'm not a Looney Toonie because I'm sitting out here and I got my boys and mm, no. <laughs> Uh, stop. How about no? Stop. <laughs> Let me rap, dude. I don't know what you're doing. Let me rap. I was going to rap. I was gonna... Even this I don't like. <laughs> what? Let me rap. I was going to rap. I was going to spit a quick 16. That's even worse. Don't say that either. Why? I don't know. Doesn't sound good. Why? Because I'm not going to spit on a 16-year-old. I'm going to spit a 16. Hey, I didn't think that you were going to do oh, that. Okay. Because that's illegal. What rhymes with 16? Fisting. <laughs> <laughs> Fisting? I would think so, right? Fisting. Yeah, yeah. But would like... you fist someone? Be serious. Be serious. <laughs> Be serious, Frank. Be stop, serious. Stop, stop, stop pointing at me. No, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Come on. I don't know. But yeah, It's yeah. not something that you would like desire. Like, oh, my birthday. I'm trying to fist. I don't want to speak about the mother of my children on YouTube like well, that. Pretend. Pretend that you're not pretend married. Pretend I'm not married? Uh, okay. Um, would you fit? No, but, but like. See, I don't like doing this either because now you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to think I'm about a life. Kidding, I don't kidding. want to think about a life without my wife. I <laughs> love when you do this. Do what? I don't want to think about a life without my wife. I want to do what? I like when you say like do I'm this. Asking like asking you to do that. I know you're not. No, Joey. It, listen, I guess if the circumstances called for it, a fisting. I guess so. Of course, you want to. You want to. Someone who wants to be fisted. What about you, fucking of fist, ma- I would fist, fist master someone. general? What do you? Yeah, I've never fisted anybody. I come to you and I'm like. Please. Not you. I'm not no, I'm not saying me, but I come to you for them. I'm their advocate. Oh, there's a middleman? I'm just like you may well yeah, they're always always remember in like high school, it'd always be like, yo, like my homeboy thinks you're hot. Yeah, but it's not like, hey, my homeboy wants you to know if he wants like you get fisted. You never know. Oh, I mean <laughs> That took forever. It's like, yo, you see my homegirl over there? She wants to get fit she loves your hands. Make a fist for me real quick. She wants a closed fisting. She wants a closed fisting. Mm-hmm. I guess, I mean, listen. Yeah. Go for it. It goes down. I heard that you recently, for other people's lives. <laughs> no, I'm not. Nothing to do with fisting. I'm not fisting anybody. Other people's <laughs> lives, you spoke to someone that does like mass orgies. Did we? Have I, maybe the episode's not out. Or maybe it won't come out. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But either way. Oh, yeah. That's oh. something that you have to do once in your life. What? You have to go to an orgy. No, I don't. Why not? I think of the smell. Oh, yeah. Maybe it would, it would have like, to be outdoors. Just come with a, a Febreze. Oh, an outdoor one. But then you got to worry about the elements. Like, what if it's raining? You pick a day. De- Frankie, <laughs> we, have, we can predict the weather. Oh, Joey, but how disappointed would everyone be if they're like, ah, tomorrow. You got, I'm, I'm assuming there's a prep. A rain delay? I'm assuming there's prep involved. Yeah, you pick a day in like the, the autumn. Not the autumn. Yeah, autumn. Not a lot of rain in the autumn, is there? Or spring, probably spring, better. Oh, you're right, but April showers. There's all that's, They have a whole month dedicated to, to the rain. Yeah. I do like when it rains and it's sunny out. So you want to know something funny? Someone found on a previous episode of the Basement Yard podcast, which you could find anywhere, um, <laughs> I had joked about how I had, I had previously made a stupid tweet in like 2012 or something, and someone found it. What tweet? It was a tweet where, I, I, I mean, it shouldn't take me very long to pull up, so bear with me. But I had said I, something stupid to the, like... Was it a, does it have anything to do with, like, sun showers? Because that's what I was talking about. If this has nothing to do with that, I may scream. Um, no, I don't think it has anything to do with sun So shower. why did you think of this? What do you mean, why did I think of this? Why did it pop into your head while well, I was talking We about- were talking... Well, I'm saying we were talking in another episode about it, and you just brought up the word rain, Joey, so I'm talking rain, too. But you brought up rain. You brought up rain. You brought the rain up. You said, what if it rains on your orgy day? I'm too busy looking for this, Joey. You're probably not going to find it. I'm probably not, now that I think about it. Um, but it was something along the lines of, like, 
Like, mmm, hot, hot rain. Yes, please. Sexy. Or some shit what? like that. <laughs> it was so fucking. What did it even mean, though? <laughs> that hot rain is sexy, Joey. What's hot rain? I thought in 2012 that if I tweeted something was sexy, someone would find me sexy. Is that is that what the thought process was? Maybe I was it was I was nine, 20 years old, 19, 20 years old. That's old. <laughs> that you're not seven, Frank. You're twenty years old. Oh, Joey, you're gonna tell me you still think the exact same way you did when you were twenty? Guess what? Watch this. No, you don't. I know I don't. But I you know what I don't know. Don't I don't know. No, don't, don't don't. What you don't know? What I know. What I know. Thanks. Hump. What'd you say? <laughs> Hump. <laughs> Go ahead. Also, never humped anybody in my life. You've, you've had sex? But that's not humping. Yes, you hump, Joey. That's thrusting. Humping, that's a, is, humping is like Joey, is like that's different. a hump, dude. Humping is like different. Thrusting is just no clothes. Humping with clothes. You've never dry humped? I don't think. Joey. I don't know. You're a lying little sack of dirt. <laughs> you fucking... I don't know if I've dry humped. Joey. I've like done you're it. You're going like, to tell me you've not been in like a, yeah, like, like a, like a pre-sex make out and you're just like, yes, fucking yes. like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I know. But that's not, that's not dry humping to me. Yes, it is. No, that's just making out with movement. Yeah. But like you get like in the position. But a dry humping is like a, is like we're humping. Like yes, we're purposely Joey, humping. Yes. But I'm not purposefully humping. I'm just humping because I'm like. You're humping, my, but you're, pur- you're making humping. Making out makes me move. Make out, Joey, make out. It's a, it's a hump, dude. No, humping is. You're thinking like different. you're a fucking little rodent. You're like. <laughs> like, no, you f- you have humped before. Yeah, but like, no, I haven't. Yes. I don't believe. I think those are different. <laughs> Joey, you are incorrect here. You have definitely no, dry humped. No, no, no. Yes, you have. Humping is like. Like humping. You're gonna tell me you've never been laying down, w- wearing full clothes, making out with someone, and you're doing like humping. No. Not that, like you're putting them in a sex position and you're both clothes, and then you're like, this yeah, would be yeah. sweet if I lost my clothes here. No, I, no. I, I when I picture dry humping, I think of. Why, <laughs> some, I'll why get to this? that. I'll get to that. Why I, that? Because I. <laughs> why the I, scissors? When I think of dry humping, I'm gonna fucking explain. <laughs> Oh my uh, when I think of dry humping, I think of like scissoring. Yeah, but that's for not us. We're not allowed to scissor. <laughs> I know. We're not. It's not cool for straights to scissor. I know. Scissor. We can't take the lesbian stuff. We can't. Because first, you know, we're not allowed to take that. Where does it stop? Let them know? have a scissoring Something, at least. Yeah. They've had a rough go of it. Yeah. Give them scissoring and the WNBA. And softball. And softball. <laughs> <laughs> They will give them that. They, they have that. They're happy. Yeah, right. You know. Those we'll, are good stuff We'll to share have. flannels, though. We will share flannels we'll with sh- the lesbians. We will share them. We will, and you'll like it. Okay? Don't. Also, we will share shaving designs in the side of your head, too. We, we, if, if anything, we did it first. So you're sharing. We're letting you. Yeah. You're welcome. Right, yeah. yeah. Don't make us take it back. And chain wallets. Don't we make, will, a, don't we make us take back chain wallets. <laughs> don't you dare. They got uncool for us a little bit. You can have them for now. But the minute we want them back, mm-hmm. it's ours again. Right. What were you talking about, though? Uh, oh, dry humping. Dry humping. Uh, but yeah, I do think that it's like a dry humping is more of like, it, it's like purposeful. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm humping right now. No, I but think I'm not thinking of humping. All right, I'm going to set the scene for you. Close your eyes. You're laying down on your back on your bed. Okay. Yeah. You're, for some reason, you still have a twin size bed. It doesn't make any sense. I don't. Though. I, you're laying on your back. My turn. Let me talk. And someone is on top of you straddled. You're both wearing jeans and making out. <laughs> both wearing jeans? Yeah. Some good Levi's, you know. Classic cut. Don't. Maybe even boot cut. Shoes? Yeah, uh, no, you kicked your shoes off. She's in the middle of taking hers off. All right. She's like, you're making out, and she's like doing that thing where she, you're making out and reaching back. And she's reaching back what? And pulling her boots off. Oh, oh. Okay. You didn't know Close your you eyes. Mean. Why are they open? I was. Why I, are they open? Because I had to supervise what you were saying. <laughs> what? I said, oh, you didn't have to supervise anything with your eyes. Close your eyes. Supervise. Uh, supervise. Supervise. Joey. Supervise. <laughs> realize. <laughs> realize. Realize. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. And you're making out. And there's this. There's Don't look. No, don't. There's this. There's wave movements going. They're kind of humpy, though. 
You're telling me to close my eyes and then you're doing things and I can't. You know, there's this. Don't look, Joey. Jesus Christ, don't. I'm explaining it. There's this right here. Stop saying this because I can't see. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Closing them. <laughs> Go ahead. So there's like gyrating hips mm -hmm. and okay. this. This right here. Frankie, if you say <laughs> this one more time, I'm going to open my eyes and glue them open. I'm never showing them again. So stop saying this. Describe what you mean. Okay. You're not adding a little bit to the party. Yes, but that's not humping. Yes, it is, Joey. It's humping. Because if your clothes were off and P and Beam were bowed there, there'd be Sebs. <laughs> you can respond to that. Um, all right, whatever. Just admit you dry hump. Maybe. Oh. It's not uncool to dry hump, dude. It's pretty well, sick. Whatever, dude. I don't care. I just want to go home. <laughs> but that's like the hand job thing. Hand jobs are for high school. Dry well, I've never gotten a hand job. You've never gotten like a dedicated, like, this is just for a hand job? Never. All right. Well, see, but this is the same thing. This is what I mean. <laughs> like, obviously, like, it's been touched. The thing's been touched. You might want to try the hand job thing. Why? Everything else is way cooler. I mean, yeah, but like, <laughs> this is something to do. Knock it off your bucket list, you know? By the end of your days, you need to get one sure. just dedicated, just you, just for you hand job. I'm sure it'll be like, you know, when I have a wife and like, I'm hiding in a room and she's got one eye on the kids and she's like, just fucking here. You got real, you got, you're, you went open and girthy on that, Joey. Well, Give yourself I'll, some real <laughs> Yeah, here. Slap it around. You think she's trying to jerk you off? She's trying to tell you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> she's like, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think you've probably been a, a notorious dry humper in your life. No one's notorious for dry You're humping. You're notorious for dry humping, dude. No, I'm not. Dude, you you haven't had some just some humping. hard, dry makeouts? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's dry humping. There's humping in there. Give in to the hump. There's nothing wrong with it. Just it's, look at me. Just you've you've humped. It's, it's okay. more groping than it is humping. Well, groping is a bad. It's a negative connotation to is it, it, Joey. Yeah, because yeah, well, if you grope without consent, when you hear people groping or being groped, oh, you could grope with consent. Groping, like if I'm grabbing your tit, I'm groping you. I, I think that's not a, a a grope. Just it doesn't sound right. I don't like it. To you, maybe. Yeah, to, 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 to yeah I'm not saying I groped a waitress. I'm saying a person that I'm with. Very specifically. Because that's who waitresses get groped all the time. Came up with that example. Bartenders? I, I think it's like people on like the train and the bus and that stuff too, like that. That too, that too, that too. Big groping problem out what there. What kind of a big freak do you need to be to just be like... Grab an ass. <laughs> also, what do you get from that? They get something, those fucking freaks. Yeah, they get something from anything. It's crazy. You should murder them. <sighs> I have a question. You should start cutting off hands though, for sure. Oh, dude, if whatever that country was, Iraq, Iran, one of those countries did that. They had it right. Oh, they were cutting hands off? Yeah, it was like... It, it, but they were know. also cutting heads off. I, I would hands is what I... Oh, fingers? I'm, I'm saying, like, you steal... They were like, oh, you steal from me, I take your hand. Hammurabi. That's right, his code. I think that was from Egypt, though. So, yeah. either way. Uh, but, yeah, I agree. Hey, mm -hmm. serial gropers out there. You get caught, you lose, a, you lose a finger every time. I don't know how much of our uh, audience is serial gropers. Hopefully none of them. I agree. Because we don't like that. Yeah. Unless it's with consent, then we're big fans of groping. All about it. All about it. All Let me about tell you. getting grabbed and grabbing. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. As this is something that has gone across the internet as of late. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? I've seen this shit all over TikTok, bro. I, I never think about this. I think it's bullshit. I, I think I, I... I think everyone's like, oh, like they just want to be a part of something. And they're like, oh, the Roman Empire. See, my boyfriend's also quirky. You guys suck. <sighs> Who thinks about the Roman Empire? Joey, I agree. I think this is like boys just trying to have like a boy thing. Yeah, where it's, it's like, like, I think about the Roman Empire all the time. Yeah, like twice a week. That's when I would be like, all right, you know what? Name three dictators. Go ahead. Give me three leaders. And you can't be Caesar. Give me another two. Give me another three. Give me two. They can't name well, them. We're talking about a specific empire, Frank. The Roman Empire. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, there were different dictators. I don't even know that. I don't even know. Like when people say how many times you oh think about God, it. Like, bro, why do I we... don't think about anything historical unless I'm taking a test. And that doesn't happen often. No. It doesn't happen, I would say, <laughs> ever, really. In the last 10 years, it hasn't happened at all. Uh, even longer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, I don't get why this was like a thing. Like why like boys need to consider like try to be cooler by thinking like, oh, we think of the Roman Empire. No, we don't. No, we do not. No. We do not. We if I'm don't. thinking of history at all, it ain't the Roman Empire. It's World War II. I think about that. That shit is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. World War II, way more than I think about the Roman Empire. Dude, what were they doing back in the Roman Empire? Em- Who even cares? Well, they had stupid haircuts. And their 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 fucking their ha- their helmets had feathers on them. Oh, sweet. You know how cool the Roman Empire was? They were brought down by Christianity. Way to go. Stupid. They did have pretty cool hats. The ones that looked like brooms. I hate them. Oh, I thought that was kind of cool. I did like their chest plates that looked like they were ripped. They were, they were shredded. Yeah. But I didn't like they that, though. They were just fat Romans. No, they were pretty shredded, a lot of them. Mm. Because they couldn't eat. Those are the Greeks. The Greeks, though. I don't think of that empire, either. Well, no, I just remember the movie. They were ripped up in that movie. They're all ripped up in all those movies. But it's true. It's such a like it's such a stupid. Not enough fat soldiers in, in movies. No representation. Well, because back then people that were fat were of high power because That's of the true. food. Yeah, Joey. Right. That's right. Look at us talking about the Roman Empire. Just two boys. Two boys. The first time I've done it, and that's way too far away for me to <laughs> dap you up, but. Uh... Yeah, no, the Roman Empire thing, it's just a fad on TikTok. Everyone wants to be a part of it, and they want to, like, do well. What Sucks. do you think is, like, going to come out from this? Because it always... It, it always Nothing. No, like, what is, like, the equivalent for, like, girls? What do girls think of? I don't, I don't know. Why would the hell would you ask me? I don't know. I'm not a girl. Yeah, neither am I, Joey. But I guess what? How many times has that stopped us from pontificating this stuff in the past? Get that out of your fucking vocabulary. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. What do they think about? So if boys think about the Roman Empire, what do girls think of? The Roman like, Empire sucks. If that had said World War II, we wouldn't even have be having this conversation. Salem Witch Trials. That's, that's... How is that dissimilar to... I don't know. What do girls think of? I don't know, dude. Do you think they think of like witches being burned at the stake for reading? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I mean... Oh, that bitch can read. Burn her. <laughs> and what? she can't read either? Also a witch. Oh. <laughs> Burn her. <laughs> Useless. Burn her. <laughs> What would you? All right, serious question. If I were to ask Joey at the age of fifteen what girls were thinking, what would you say? I I don't. Oh my god! Don't, I I knew don't exactly. You dare. I knew exactly what this was gonna be. Joey's going on his high horse. I don't know, like fucking like Susan B. Anthony and like just fucking Susan B. Joey. Anthony. You would have said something stupid, you know and that's I mean? the point even, I'm getting. I don't at. even know what Susie did. I know she was on a coin. Joe, she was on a coin. I don't know either. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know either. I feel like I should know that. We probably should, and we should tell the people that watch this show. Yeah. Susan B. Anthony, for those who don't know, obviously we do. We're just, you know. We want to make sure you guys knew before we told you. She's a she's a social, social reformer. reformer. Women's rights. Of, of course. Activist. Uh, in the who, early 1900s. A, a pivotal role. In the women's, women's suffrage. suffrage. Yeah. So. See, I told you we knew. Did you? Do you, wow. do you support women's suffrage? Wow. Well, I don't want it. Huh? What is, like, suffrage sounds like suffering. Right. Do you support women's suffrage? Hmm. That seems like a trick question, and I don't know. But is it? I support the onset of... You don't know what suffrage is, I do you? <laughs> you don't know what suffrage is. I know Suffragette City, good song by David Bowie. Is that going to help you here? He's dead. Correct. Isn't that sad? Are you trying to get me off of the question? <laughs> Women's suffrage. Yes. Y- yay or nay? I guess it's that's. My... I guess the movement to. What movement? The movement to move in the right direction. That di- that movement. The, the, the yeah, the... but the the right direction is different for some people. For you know? all. Yes. I am a feminist. Okay. So. Joey, come on. How do you feel about women's suffrage, Frank? I feel like it was an important part of our history, and we have a lot of work left to do. With that? Yeah. With women's suffrage? Yeah. You feel like we still haven't gotten to the point where... We're not there yet. We're not there yet with we're women's not, suffrage. We're not. And you don't... Well, well the women's suffrage movement was right. the start of like moving in the direction that, that might like kind of benefit women the most, and that's where I want to be. So you support... Women's suffrage is what you're saying. I don't because that you don't support women's well, suffrage. Well, <laughs> we know that you don't know what it means, but it sounds like you don't support it or you do support it. I'm not sure though. 
how can I support something I don't fully understand? Right. I am a no, silent partner. No, but you know what it is? It's, it's hard to understand I'm whether you silent, support it or not. Joey, I'm a silent partner. Yeah. Oh, you're a silent partner in supporting it I, or not supporting I am, it? I am here to, to link arms with my sisters in arms and... And be down with the movement? And I'm down with them. I'm here for them. But down meaning you want to put the movement down? No. No, I want to... Do well, you support the suffrage <laughs> or not? I can't tell. It I, sounds like... If, you said yes, and then you said no, and I'm not sure. And I get that it's probably very hard to understand. Yeah, because it is complicated, right? I think when you is it a, is it a would you say it's a gray area? Susan B. Anthony, forget about her. <laughs> gray area? Is it a gray area here? No, women suffer. My... So it's a black and white thing. Well, stop that. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, Susan B. Anthony, Sylvia Plath. What are we doing here? <laughs> Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart. How are these people? All notable women that I'm supporting here, Joey. And I will You support Amelia Earhart? <laughs> yes, I do. For okay. People didn't think she could do it. And <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> Oh, God. You know, I just found out. We're going to get back to this, by the way. But you know, I just found out what happened. You hit your head on the wall? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I just found out what may have happened to Amelia Earhart. I, uh, I think she had, on her way back or something like that, she had gone down, right? Yeah, Frank, but who cares? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm saying No, I'm saying, like, why I care, she went Joey. Down. I do. Listen, yeah, because you don't, you, uh, with the suffrage, again. Yeah, you stop want, what you, you want suffrage? What happened to Amelia Earhart, Joey? So, women's suffrage is women's right to vote, by the way. I agree with it. You said it was. You said no. no well, because I said, and then you said it was complicated. I know <laughs> it's just women's right to vote in elections. I, I agree with it. I, obviously, Joey. Okay, yeah, it's obvious now. Uh, Amelia Earhart. So, some. Oh, this is a theory about what happened to her. Because mm -hmm. uh, the Bermuda Triangle or whatever. Isn't that below us though? The who? The Bermuda Triangle? Below us? Yeah. Like, what does that mean? Like under? Like like. It's more southern than where she was gonna be, right? I don't know. I don't. Where did, I don't even know where she went down. She was flying across the Atlantic. Yes, but like from here to like fucking like London. Oh, what well, you I think she know. was going to Cape Town? But what they think will happen. There was a theory because it, when I was in Portugal and you're like looking out, sometimes the the. Uh, of course, had to bring up Portugal. <laughs> so some when you're looking out the sky sort of blends with the water. So you don't know where the fucking, where you are. And some people just hit the fucking water. So before the technology of knowing like how high you are off the ground with fucking a million air heart, all they had was like goggles back then. And they were like really dumb looking goggles. Yeah. Uh, like Snoopy would wear those goggles. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, and they think that that's why. It's possible. I because mean, she didn't know where the fuck the thing was. Because when, uh, when I took a plane to uh, Azores, it was such a small island. And when we were coming down, I, didn't, I, I was looking at the water. And I didn't realize how low we were until I saw a boat. And it was way bigger than I thought it was. So I would have crashed that motherfucker. You always like to sneak in little things into the episodes. Almost every single episode. And, and then your new thing now is going to be just Europe, Joe. Really? Talk about, oh, where else have you been, Joey? When we went to this super small island that we got a chartered plane for, that we... Chartered oh, plane. We had to really, like, shell out some real hard cash for it. Did I tell you that I got some cases of wine brought back for me? It was expensive. First of all, the, the flight was like 80 bucks. Portugal, Joey. 80 what? bucks Portugal. Their fucking currency is worth more than ours. Wow. So it was a lot of money then. <laughs> no, it's the euro. Yeah, the euro is like ten times to one, so that was like ten times. That's what you said. Are Joey. you even alive? That's what you said, Joey. Whatever. I don't even know what we're talking about Me anymore. Me neither. Uh, but this Roman Empire thing, I don't understand. Bullshit. Don't. It's. It is a lie. Let's be honest. Like girls have gone up to their boyfriends. Like, do you think about the Roman Empire? And he's like, yeah, quite frequently. And it's like, no, they fucking don't. Yeah, because your boyfriends are also on TikTok, and they're like, what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm they, a dude. They just want to make themselves more. Uh, oh, you're quirky, dude. Bro, you're just like, you're a dude, man. Boys are mysterious. Guess what? We're not. Yeah, I don't we're know. really not. We're pretty, pretty simple. Anyway, 
We have some sponsors for today. The first one being a Squarespace. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Uh, Squarespace is where you can go to make your website. Okay, I've gone on other single. I've been on other platforms where you they could help you create a website. Takes forever. Horrible. Hate them. Frankie, I swear to God, if that phone goes off, I am gonna have a conniption. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Squarespace is amazing. You can build your website on there. You can also use some of their tools so you can track where traffic is coming from, help you optimize your business, your website. And you can use your website for many things. If you have a product, you have an e-commerce business, or you make some sort of content or whatever, you want to create some sort of landing page, you can do so with Squarespace. And it is the best one because you can create these nice uh, websites with their beautiful templates, which is my favorite part about their website because it gives you a huge jump start on the competition. You can launch your site. It wouldn't take too much time to get all your information on there and it'll look very nice and people would be very impressed that you do it yourself. Um, but you can go to squarespace.com slash basement uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, so go over to squarespace.com slash basement right now. And uh, when you're ready to launch, use that offer code basement for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, do it. Uh, and next year we have HelloFresh. HelloFresh, you know them, you love them. You get farm fresh ingredients, uh, pre-portioned. They show up to your doorstep, which is very nice because everything's pre-portioned down to salt and pepper. They come in little packets and you use the whole thing. You don't have any leftover food that has to sit in your fridge for 10 weeks. And you're like, Jesus, these bananas are growing mold. Uh, but they have so many in-season ingredients. Uh, like I said, Pre-portioned fresh ingredients. Uh, you can make stuff, and also the fall is coming up, so you can make like an app. Was it apple cider cake with caramel sauce? Which holy hell, that sounds amazing, honestly. Uh, BBQ pulled pork nachos, mini pumpkin cheesecake. If it's a cheesecake. I'm making it and eating a thousand of them. Um, so they have a bunch of different uh, menus that you can choose from. You go on, you choose what food you want. Then they send it to your house with a little recipe. You make it yourself. It's beautiful. Uh, and it's, it's also you're saving money. So it's more affordable than ordering out or going to a restaurant or anything like that. Uh, so it's great. So right now you can save even more money by going to HelloFresh.com slash 50Basement and use the code 50Basement for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. Okay. So not only is this saving you money from ordering out again or going to another expensive restaurant, uh, you're also saving an extra 50%. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Basement and use the code 50Basement for 50% 50 off plus free shipping. Okay, so get on it, folks. It's beautiful. You know what else you can get on? Hop on up, baby. Ding, ding. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. <laughs> Trains don't make that noise. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Ding, ding is like one of these, Frank. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, God. All right. Ding, ding, ding. Hop on over. To <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, 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 what? What did I do wrong this time? Uh, you rubbed a vagina. That's what you did. Sweet. Rad. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. You trying to show off and get some fucking ladies? How you doing? Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. Listen, we thank you guys every single week, every single time we talk to you because we're continuing to break records. We broke 26. We want to get over to 27, and then 28, and then 29, and then 30, and then who knows? The sky is the limit. Thank you guys for getting us there. We really appreciate it. We're working on some stuff that is going to be given to you as big old fat old thank yous for getting our Patreon account over into the top 10 in the world. Do you know that? In the whole wide world. So go check it out at patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes one week in advance. You get to hear about all this nonsense, all the goodies, all the things that you can watch and go, hey, maybe that'll be a clip or maybe not one week before everybody else. And then that second tier, mm, 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 mm. that's where you get those goodies. <laughs> that's where you get them. You get the good, sweet, Fat, sloppy, Frankie, exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. That means you can start and end your week with these two lovable loofs. <laughs> Check it out right now. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you. We look forward to if you're going to come on over and party with us and hang out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. These are getting more. These, these are getting more. I hated that. More whole based. Thing. Tell you the whole thing. More what? Based. Did I get it right? Please stop using that word. Did I get it right? I don't know. Come on. You're asking the wrong girl. Out of pocket. <sighs> Frankie, please. Is that is that it? Nope. No cap. <laughs> God. <laughs>
<laughs> don't like that one, huh? Nope. Don't like that one? Like that, like that, like that, like that one. <laughs> like that. Please stop. No, come on. Also, you heard someone say these are our friendship necklaces. Oh. There's other people that have them though, so it doesn't make me feel very happy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. I. I never take mine off. Do you? I'm not ready for you to say yes. I just started putting it back on. <gasps> what happened in our relationship? It's not because of you. Why is it? Why is what? Why have you just started putting it back on? Oh, I don't know. I like. Let's get let's get friendship pinky rings. Let's get friendship rings, promise rings to each other. What's the promise? We'll always be friends. <laughs> we'll always be best friends, and we wear my pinkies. That is my promise ring. This is my promise ring with Joey. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm sure your wife would be like, "What?" Yeah, she, <laughs> she'd be like, "Uh huh." Why is it on the same hand as your <laughs> wedding ring? <laughs> wait, wait, why did you move the wedding ring to a different finger? <laughs> why is your re- wedding ring on the middle finger now? How you feel about getting rings? Rings? Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. I've, I don't really like things in between my hands. Okay. Um, but I just started wearing rings. Oh, where are they? I don't wear them. Like, why not? Cause I'm not going to wear them daily. I'm not a daily. I'll tell you, I just got done with my rewatch of the Sopranos a couple, maybe like two weeks ago. You want to go pinky ring, don't you? I definitely want to go more rings, but the reason it really spawned, like it's spawned the idea for me is I was eating a sandwich. And I notice I keep my like. Wait, how do you eat a sandwich like this? Why? Which hands are touching it? Mostly these. And, and the then rest these are, are these just... are there for like kind of like lovable like you know emotional support. And then these are just kind of in the your, back. Your, pink, your pinkies are the lookouts. Yeah, they're they're watching, make sure no one's coming to fuck with my sandwich. Yeah, okay. And like if I had rings on these pinkies while I'm eating it, it would just feel so sick. You want to start wearing rings because you think it'll look cool when you eat sandwiches? <laughs> I do, yeah. That's so random. Is it, is it random, though? Feels like it. I, I also remember those big ass... I wouldn't get a big, giant, fat ring like Steve. Remember, yeah, I mean, he's, whole, wearing, he's wearing a Captain America shield on his bro, head. Bro, this dude had a fucking... Like, and I also don't want to get those rings that are like double finger rings. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that says like wham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like badass or some shit. Like, yeah. I just want like a good... like. Ring right here. Do like, you want it to be like flashy? Um, a little bit flashy. A little bit. A yeah. little. Not like super flashy. What color? I would say I'd go gold. Nice. I need one gold ring. Yeah. And then on the other hand, I could do maybe like a platinum or something. Would you wear a thumb ring? That's a little. No, my thumbs are too. That's a giant ass ring. Look at how big my thumbs are, Joey. Thumbs are weird. How do you look at thumbs, dude? Yeah, what's the proper way? Do you remember back in the day? It was yes, like, <laughs> yes. I thank God, bro. Back in the day, you'd be like, "Yo, check your nails," and if you check them like this, everyone's like, "You're." Oh no, if you check them like this, it, either way, they'd say you were gay. Oh yeah, it was like check your nails, and you'd be like, "What?" And you're like, "Oh, dude, that's gay." And then you'd we be like, "Check their nails that way." You'd be like, "Oh, I mean like this," and they'd be like, "Oh, that too." Oh, that's gay too. And they'd be like, "What's the proper way?" And they'd be like, "I don't know, like this." Yeah. No, someone did that to me at 48th Street Park once, and I remember I was so, like, they did that in front of, like, a bunch of people, and I walked away, I was like, I'm not fucking gay. I can't believe that. I'm not gay. It's like, check your nails, and you go, oh. And they go, Pah! Yeah, I, I remember that quite vividly. Yeah. I, I, think we could, I think we could pull off some rings. You should be? Should we get all fingers? Too many. Too many, dude. Yeah, way too many. Too, yeah. too, too many. Probably. Let's get, listen, follow me here. I'm following. I know you're big into, like, jewelry. I'm not. Let's go to the jeweler. Get customized friendship rings. Already, I'm out. Come on, dude. Yeah, I can't do that. And we can get like we can get like a, a no diamond. No one's gonna think that's not for a diamond. Friendship. No, what they're gonna think we're sleeping with each other? Yeah, inside of each other. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't think so. Yeah. We can get like the friendship stones, like whatever one is like, like you know how it'll be like, oh, opal means like fucking like the life of water and shit like that. We can get one that like signifies friendship. There, no, are you? Do you realize what those do signify? They're like birthstones, Frank. I know birthstones mean different things, though. So you want to get my birthstone on yours? No, I'm saying. I was gonna say at that point, you might as well have what, sex with each other. What stone signifies friendship? I I wrote Stein and signified <laughs> and friendship, so I think it'll figure itself out. <laughs> Seven best crystals for friendship. Okay. Uh, okay, no, no, no. You ready? No, no, we're talking about crystals now. Yeah. You want to be crystal girls? I don't. But for us, I will. Um, 
Peridot also shares the name of the stone of friendship, meaning that it positively made for moments that you want to connect and celebrate with your closest companions. Dude, Peridot, come on. That sounds like a Pokemon's name. It's yellow. Ew, that one looks like piss. It does. <laughs> How fitting for us, though. The piss boys. Just two boys. How are we the piss boys? I pee in the car. You pee your pants. I don't pee my pants. You peed in the sink. What was that story you were drunk? Peed in a sink. Oh, you threw up in the sink. Whatever. We're piss boys together. We're not piss boys. You just made that up. I don't think so. I know so. No, I don't like. I don't like how you're trying to like gaslight me here. No, I don't, I'm not going to do that. Though. I found something else I wanted to show you. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, it was an anonymous redditor uh, talking about how they wipe, and they wipe. They wipe, and I wanted to get your idea. On, on how you wipe your asshole. Oh, I've... Yeah, okay. So the anonymous Redditor had said, I'm 23. Ever since I started wiping myself around 7 or 8, and, and here it says way too late, I know. Yeah, at least you know. That's pretty late, dude. How old is Miles? Eight. Oh, my God. Dude, he's been wiping for a couple of years now. Yeah. I would say like four or five years. Yeah, yeah. This kid's a wiping machine. Yeah, well... Um, I used to wipe by using toilet paper and sometimes wet wipes all the way inside my anus until the toilet paper was absolute, had absolutely no stains on it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he said he would put the whole toilet paper in there? In his asshole. He would shove the whole thing in his the ass? The whole thing. Sometimes there was even blood and I thought, oh, it's just a fissure or a hemorrhoid. Yeah. No kidding, it's a fissure. Yeah. yeah You're yeah, ripping open the hole, baby. Yeah, it is. That's too much. That's too much in there, dude. Craziness. That's too much in there. It is. You're you got to be a surface level wiper. You can't go. You 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 start digging in the cave. You're, yeah, you're gonna find some stalactites. Yeah, you're gonna find some ruby gems. Don't want those. Don't you dare. That's my daughter's name. Don't you dare equate her to poop. I was thinking the blood. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's fine. But don't ever talk about my daughter and poop. Okay. <laughs> what a weird request. Don't you ever talk about my daughter and poop. Have you ever wiped that deep? Into my hole? Mm -hmm. No, why would I need to do that? I don't know. I mean, some people, like, have you ever had, like, a piece in there that you were like, this isn't coming out, let me help it out? You know, dude, oh my God, you know what actually happened to me recently? <laughs> oh, no. Hold on, let me get my bottle of water so I can do a spit take. You're not going to do a spit take because you don't like this type of shit. I won't. Go ahead. I think I was on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was on an airplane. And I took a hutch, right? You took a <laughs> took a shit. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, I was like, "What? What did you take?" And then I wiped. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I wasn't looking, and I just kind of like whatever, because I I was pretty. No, thorough. what? No, spe specify what that means. Like whatever. Like you're done with it. What? What do you mean? I just kind of like whatever. I like threw the toilet paper in the thing. Gotcha. In the in the in the pail in the toilet. And then I got up, and I flushed. I washed my hands, and I was about to walk out. And I was like, something doesn't feel right. It's like, yeah, something doesn't feel Something's right. off. Something's off. <laughs> I had like a full piece of toilet paper right between my cheeks. In your asshole? In my ass. <laughs> Just, I mean, my asshole. But between my cheeks, my ass had sandwiched. Well, if you have a particularly sweaty ass, it can, you know, the moisture. It wasn't. Kind of it was just, I don't, like, I guess I was wiping, and, like, it must have, like, like, the toilet paper must have, like, ripped at a certain point. And, like, I threw a piece in there, and then the other piece was the other in piece my was ass, hanging between out. my ass. And I was like, can you imagine I'd be sitting on this, the rest of this flight, and then walking through an airport with a full piece of toilet paper between my That's a cheeks. lot. That's a lot, Joey. That's a, that's a whole lot right there. Yeah, it was very weird. I always check my feet when I leave the bathroom, too, because I was like, imagine walking out of the bathroom. Yeah, all, it happens in movies all the time where, like, they walk out and there's a giant piece of, like, a string of toilet paper on the bottom of their shoe. And what is that even insinuating? Oh, you did shit? What do you think I was doing in the bathroom, Sally? Like, come on. Pissing? What, yeah, yeah. Pissing's for fucking... Pissing's for losers. For, yeah, for bitches. Joey goes in there, pisses out his butt. That I that's that IBS. Nope. I, I, you do have it. Here we go. You like to ignore it. No, I don't. One day. Nope. Um, I just that seemed. Like, are, are you a are you a fold guy or are you? You a, know what's funny? A crumple boy. I used to be a crumpler and I started folding. Oh, dumb. Watch this. That's dumb. <laughs> what's this? What's dumb? The folding. Who do you think you are in there? A fucking maid. <laughs> 
We're like, what you're doing is as sin as it is. Like, you don't need to try to fucking wrap Shitting it. Shitting is not a sin. Bro, it, what you've done in bathrooms, and you fart a lot. First of all, you're talking about me. You're king shit. You don't know that. Yeah, I do, dude. No, you don't. You, every time. Frankie. I am here. You talk about pooping. That's not true. Every time. You'll be like, oh, I have a shems. And I'm like. That's not true. Tell me it ain't. I swear, on, swear, swear on the Bible. D- Give me a Bible. Swear on the Bible. Oh, okay. The Bible. You're a liar. He doesn't believe in the Bible. That's why he's he won't he'll swear on it. <laughs> you don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe. In you the- don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's a good book. Someone left came recently and left it on our doorstep. What? Yeah. That would freak me out. It, I'd it, be like, are we gonna get it? Freaked me out. It freaked me out a little bit, and I said to Becca, I was like, what do we do? And she's like, oh, I can't throw it away. I was like. Hmm, why? Oh my God, I didn't even tell you this story. Did you throw it away? No, uh, I don't know where it is, honestly. But, uh, I didn't throw it away. <laughs> Frankie threw it and peed on it. If I threw it away, oh, I didn't pee on it. You're the pee-pee boy. Uh, no, you pee in your own yard. <laughs> I forgot to tell you this story. So, Becca, uh, please make this a clip because it's fucking hysterical. Okay. Becca uh, likes to go like to like thrift stores. She fucking bro, this girl. It's like it's like heroin. To her. Girls love buying oh dead people's my clothing. God. Yeah, bro. If you, <laughs> if you go and find a shirt from 1998, yeah, you're fucking. You've hit the jackpot. Yeah. But she went uh, a couple weeks ago. She had like a day with her sisters and her friends and her mom, and they went to this like giant thrift store. And I know her, and she was walking through this place like a fucking bat out of hell. I could just tell. I know exactly how she is. She gets so amped up when she finds a deal or like when she's like driving by like something really nice that people are throwing out and she garbage picks it. Mm -hmm. This girl, it's like fucking heroin to her. So she comes home and she goes, wait. Something that we like to do is like whenever we go shopping, the first thing we do when we get home is we show the other person like, oh, this is what I got. She's like, wait until you see what I got. And I'm like, all right, let's see. And she shows me all these clothes and vintage. You know, and some of the most 99.999% of stuff, awesome. That point double oh one though, she goes, puts down. And she goes, I have a Halloween idea where I'm going to take long white candlesticks. I'm going to melt them and shape them like squigglies and put eyes on them. And they'll look like ghosts. And it'll be a perfect Halloween candle. And I go, hmm, Okay. I look at it and I go, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Um, I go, that's a menorah. <laughs> she made a candle. She brought she brought home a fucking rod iron menorah. She didn't know what it was? <laughs> Bro, in, in her fucking like She's adrenaline induced stupor. She's like, oh, this is perfect. And she fucking fully bought just a menorah. And guess what? Not Jewish, my wife. Not Jewish also either. Also not Jewish. Also definitely not Jewish. Oh, she was like, we should take this she and w- turn it into Halloween. And she, but she didn't even realize it was a menorah. She's like, oh, no, it's not. She's like, how many days do they have? I was like, eight. She goes, look, there's nine candles. And I was like, yeah, but there's one in the middle that stays lit. And she was like, no, no. Bro, we're setting up, we were setting up our Halloween decorations the other day. <laughs> she had a menorah. And she fucking puts it out. She's like, oh, my God, I love it. And I go, yeah, it's a menorah. <laughs> it's a, like a straight up menorah. Where is it? Oh, we got rid of it. Because <laughs> she's, she's like, can I ask you a serious question? She's like, is it cute? And I was like, yes, it's cute. She's like, is it a menorah? I was like, yes, it's, it's a, a menorah. It's a full, one. 100%. Was it a full blown? Big menorah, dude. Yeah, full blown. And she's like, but why would they have a leaf on it? Because it, it had like a, like a wrought iron leaf. And I was like, the, the Jews love leaves. Uh, but also, how is that Halloween? <laughs> No, she thought it was like fall like. (laughs) She wanted like a candelabra, bro. She wanted like a fucking like candelabra with like the ghost would walk through. Oh, is that like the thing from what's it called? Beauty and the Beast? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And she's like, is it insult like is it insensitive and insulting if I put ghosts on a menorah? I was like, yeah. Is it? I would say so. No. It's a it's a piece of religious like symbolism for the for the for practicing Jewish people. I mean she's not you know, using it in a blasphemous way. She's making candles. She's making ghosts. Squiggly candles. I'm pretty sure ask any Jew. They'd be like, nah, I don't think that's cool. I feel like they'd be less cool with the way you said that. <laughs> ask any Jew. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Jesus, that was a hard J there. 
<laughs> you gotta you gotta ease into it. If you're gonna say Jew, you gotta like Jew. Yeah, you can't Jew. just like you can't have ask any Jew. <laughs> You can't say that. <laughs> the, contempt really, the contempt really comes out. And Ask like, any of them. <laughs> like, take it easy, Frank. Jesus, Christmas. Well, not Christmas. Not Christmas. That's the point. Not, exactly. That's the point. Hanukkah. And so she was like, all right, we have to. I was like, yeah, we need to get rid of this. But yeah. but that, that begs the question. So, better you, question. Can you throw out a menorah? <laughs> I was just going to say, did you throw it in the garbage? It's, it's in our, like, it's garbage. Not in the garbage can, but, like, where we put the garbage. The out. garbage. <laughs> Next to the garbage can. <laughs> no, man. no. Like, it's getting ready to be thrown out, but it hasn't yet been thrown out. What does that make you? Good? I don't know. I hope so. Okay, well, the Jew gods are going to be pissed <laughs> off. Uh, we do have more, uh, <laughs> like, doing ads after I just said that is weird. All right, let's talk about something else randomly. Watch this. Favorite Pokemon? Zapdos. Go for it. Fitbod. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, FitBot is great. It creates a custom workout based on your goals, experience, available equipment, and more, which is super ideal, okay? So just because summer's coming to an end doesn't mean that you can't get the body that you want for next summer, or honestly, during the winter. What's better than having, like, a big sweater on, and then you take one off, and it's like, whoa, dude, you look great. Love that. Um, so with FitBot, like I said, based on your goals, experience, available equipment. So if you don't have equipment or you don't have a gym membership or anything, or you just have like a pair of dumbbells or something, whatever you have, they will make a workout program based upon that. Also your experience level. If you don't know anything about like fitness or working out and you're just getting started, they have over a thousand demonstration videos so you can learn how to do the movements uh, even if you don't know how to do them. So it's not just a program that you have to follow and Google all the things. They have videos teach you how to do them. So it's very helpful in that way. Uh, also, the app intelli uh, intelligently uh, varies your intensity and volume and tracks muscle fatigue and recovery. Um, so it's great. This is the best way to get the uh, you know optimal uh results that you want from training um and it's affordable way more affordable than a personal trainer which is very uh, expensive and you can also get 25 percent off your subscription at fitbod.me slash basement that's f-i-t-b-o-d dot m-e slash basement again fitbod.me slash basement get 25 percent off your subscription all right go do it uh, and lastly here, we have prize picks. Prize picks is my new favorite thing during football season, honestly. It's very easy. It's a lot less complicated than other ways of, uh, you know, betting. But it is a lot of fun. Uh, how does it work? You pick two to six players, and if they go – if they – score more or less than their prize picks possession, you can win up to 25x your money on any entry. I have been playing this every single week, so if you have, like, Saquon Barkley, he's going to have more than uh, 62 yards. Uh, you know, not next week because he just hurt his ankle, but, you know, it, that's an example of something like that. Uh, so you just pick more or less than their projection, and then you pick two to six people, and based upon how many you get, that's how much you win. Uh, so it's great. And they have not only NFL, but they also have NBA, uh, NHL, PGA, eSports. They have pretty much everything on this app. Um, it's, it's great. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's super easy, safe and fast withdrawal. So when you win your money, if you want it in your account, ask for it. You'll get it. Uh, but yeah, go download the PrizePix app or go to pricepix.com to sign up. Uh, first time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to hundred dollars with the promo code basement. So if you go on the app and you put in, uh, the promo code basement instant deposit match up to hundred dollars. So what that means is if you put in $50, they will match it. They will put in a $50 and you'll have hundred dollars to play with. And that's up to hundred. So if you put up hundred, they will give you another hundred and so you have $200 to play with. Awesome. Uh, don't forget the promo code basement at sign up for an instant deposit match. Um, but yeah, go try it. Go have fun. It's a lot of fun. All right. I've won some money on it. It's, it's a, it's a good time. So, uh, go try out prize picks. Um, also I kind of wanted to talk about, I mean, we talked about it briefly before we started recording, but the, the video <laughs> of the love surge. Oh, my God. Do you have that? Can you, like, pull that up real yeah, quick? Yeah, I absolutely can pull it up, Joey. I'm so glad that you asked. Um, I don't know although, why. You although you're the one sitting in front of a computer. Yeah, I probably should have done um, it. Because I don't even trust you to do it quickly anyway. Cause yeah, well, I don't care what you trust. Your slow, dainty fingers can't Oh, even my fingers rather not be dainty. <laughs> um, we should probably just describe it first, though. Okay, so. I'll describe it. Go for it. <laughs> Fucking loser. You asked me to pull something up and then you say, no, I'm going to do it this way and then I'm going to do it. No. No. Well, okay. So anyway, 
You okay? I'm so sorry. I love no. you. I love you, though. No, you don't. I told you about this thing that you do all the time. Okay, I'm not going to play into this anymore. Um, but there was this, this couple, and like she's there's a woman like, do you want to know that this cringy thing? And then her husband is behind him, <laughs> shaking. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. And she's like, he's having a love surge right now, which means he's like so full of love. One, by the way, these are full grown. These are full growns. <laughs> you would guess if you guessed sub eighteen children, you're wrong. Why would you guess that, you freak, you loser? What's wrong with you? Why do you want to see that? They were full adults. They're full grown, full big old adults. Yeah, and then she's like, he's having a love surge, and then he like grabs me, and then I start shaking, and then we explode with love. And listen, I'm okay with you having some weird lovey dovey. Everyone, everyone, everyone has some weird lovey dovey yeah, stuff. I like, do, you do. Yeah, we but do. you probably you probably go and you you know you and your wife you're like, oh, you're my little toot toot, and like you know you pretend you're birds or something. Like people have stuff like that. Why? Why? Wait, a toot toot? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But like, oh, you're my little bird, and you do stupid stuff because it's cute and it's yours yeah, and it's allowed you know, to be yours. When you're in love, you do stupid things and it's like silly and it's dumb. But but but, but you keep that in the confines of the house here. Listen. You keep it in a box here. Front door, back door, any basement doors you have, keep it within those doors. You okay? don't put it on the internet. Of course the people are going to rip you apart because when I saw that, I literally wanted to throw a toaster in the bath and hop in. Oh, you, oh that in that order? So you knew what you were doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't want to go in first. Well, I think first. everyone knows what they're doing with the toaster, baby. Well, I think they... But they go with the they go in first and then they throw the toaster inside so they don't have time to think about it. That's well, this is getting dark. Yeah, uh, Jesus. I'm sorry, but listen, people are destroying this woman and her boyfriend online. Yeah. Which unfair. I just don't want to see it. But I don't need to see it because let's be honest. First of all, he's playing into it, and and I think she's an influencer. Yeah, they are. So, so like, ugh, come on, like you you sh- you should have known, yeah, dude. Yeah, You're yeah. not helping your own cold there, dude. Yeah. You did, dude, not doing it. I don't even know what you're saying. You know? And he's behind her, and he's like... He did, and I feel bad. I feel bad that they're getting a lot of hate. Me, well, but I, I also call it hate. I would just call it... You know, no, they're like, getting a lot of hate. Hate? I, feel, I don't feel bad about that stupid love surge thing, though. Yeah, it's... I don't like that. I don't like it... But like we said, everyone's got some of that stuff. Everyone does. Yeah. I'm, I'm, listen, I... It, and it's cute. You guys call each other... Stupid names or something? Don't don't you dare, bitch! It's what, what happens in our house I, stays in our house. It's like Vegas, but my house. <laughs> okay, we have our own little things. But I'm saying, do you guys have like na- names? Of course for each other? we do. But but if I were to tell you the have world, 100 names for your kids. I'm assuming one of them is for your wife. Yes, I have one for my wife. Get over here! What? what <laughs> the name is get in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's called grilled cheese now. Oh my god, real quick, real quick sidebar. I had a moment the other day that I, I like stopped and I was like, ah, that didn't feel right. We have like in the ki- in the basement we have uh, like toy kitchens. Yeah. And like they're stocked with like toy foods and stuff like that. And a thing that R- R- when Ruby wants to go downstairs and play, she goes, Dad, Dad, can we go cook and play? Which means can we go downstairs? It's the cutest thing in the world. She's an adorable little angel. And <laughs> we go down there and her thing recently is as she says, Are you hungry? And I say, Yes. And she goes, All right, I'm gonna make you food. And she goes and she comes back with a toy sandwich. And it's like... This kid's teaching his daughter gender roles. That's crazy. No. And the other day, I'm like, Ruby, you want to go downstairs? I need you to make me a sandwich. (laughs) And I was like, ah, that didn't feel good. Ruby, how about today we play upstairs and you make a real fucking sandwich because I'm starving. (laughs) Ruby, where's my meat? (laughs) Um, I said, well done. (laughs) Guess that went out the window, Ruby. (laughs) I guess we're not putting salt on things now, huh? (laughs) No, listen, you have your own things. This just sucks. This reeks of Wait, suck. Wait, can we know the name that you call your wife? My, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Can we know the name she calls you? Uh, well, we have, we have multiple. Yeah, I assume. What do you, what do you call your fucking wife? <laughs> huh? I, it's not about Give that. me an example of a cutie name that you guys had. Bro, I'm talking about cute cookie. Cookie? Cute cookie? I told you about the ones that my mom would call us. Oh, that's right. That's right. Kitty Kuda, dude, son of bunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shanny, Manny, Poo Poo, Panny, and and Joey Loey Lou. Yeah, my um, I'm trying to think of my mom. Like my dad would call us Froggy. He'd call me Froggy. I remember that. That sucks. Chris was fishy. Nick was picky, and Jessica was shushy. Shushy. Shush. Shushy. Who is picky? Nick. Picky. Picky. Nicky. Fishy. Chrissy. Froggy. Frankie. And shushy. 
That's she what he would say. Her name is Jessica, Frank. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shashi Jessica? I know. I doesn't really roll off the I, tongue. I don't know. I don't know. And then my mom would mostly like, you know, do your homework. That's what she'd call us. Right, you know? yeah, yeah, Stuff yeah. Stuff like that. I've heard that before. Frank and I have cute names. They've evolved over time. Evolved? Yeah. So like... Oh, so the first one is still part of this new one? It's like, it's become like a bastardization of whatever it was at first. You've been using that word a lot lately too. I've been meaning to tell you about that. <laughs> yeah. Because you've been it? using bastardization a lot. Oh, has it? Yeah. Have I? Yeah. Um, <laughs> has it? Has it? <laughs> has it? Yeah, really? Yeah. Sorry. Sex Education Season 4 is coming out. <laughs> yeah, I'm psyched about I'm that. I'm so excited. Yeah. So I have to be British for yeah, it. You're going to be away for the weekend though. How are you going to watch it? I'm probably just going to get back and watch it. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably have it done by then. Wow. Um, but uh, Because you love education and sex. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. It is weird to watch, though. Like, Beck and I started rewatching it, and two of our, our two children are named from two people, not named after two people from the show, but, like, have the same names. Oh, wow. Ruby and Maeve. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys are big fans of the show, no, dude. No, no, we just like the names. Ruby and Maeve. It's two characters from we the just, show. Yeah, but we just like the names. No, oh, yeah. Oh, the show. Know the names. Um, but, yeah, our, our oh, names. Oh, my God. If you had a son, you were going to name him Otis. I know you. No, absolutely not. He was He was going to be maybe Francisco. Really? I would think so. Wow. But, I mean. No way I name a kid, Joey. Oh, well, not a great line there, Joe. What's that supposed to mean? I'm I'm great. Dude. <laughs> I'm amazing, dude. Oh, I'm glad you joked about that because I was starting to feel bad. Like, did I make a joke that was too real? Um, oh, Jesus. You did it. Who did what? You. This is gaslighting. No. Um, we have our own cutie names. They are, two, they are ourselves. One of them is Peep. Who's Peep? You or her? We're you're both, Peep. We're both Peeps. Oh, you're both Peep. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, I think it's cute. You know why? I, it get, why? Because um, when we first started dating, we were like, we, uh, she had like slept at my place or I slept at her place. I don't remember. And in the middle of the night, she peed the bed. Okay. No, okay. Made up. <laughs> oh, you did a little peep. You did a little peep in my bed. Bro, if she had pissed the bed. I, I already know how that would have went. <laughs> fucking bang. <laughs> See you later. Thank uh, you for your service. I wouldn't have said that. I know. Um, but yeah, peep. You that's know, a good one. I also, it's because I love marshmallow peeps too. That's a big one. I like Those that. are disgusting, but I'm going to let that slide. And then we've gone through like, you know, like I called her when we were first watching Sopranos together. I called her my GABA girlfriend. <laughs> my GABA girlfriend. And Do you have it, a GABA name for Ruby? Yeah, she's a GABA goofin. GABA goofin. It's a big, it's a big name in our household. GABA goofin. And that, er, that, that has like morphed into uh, Tonka, Tonka truck. <laughs> Wait, she's Tonka truck? Yeah. How did that morph from Gabagoo? I don't know. It just did. Tonka truck. Yeah. It was like, what's up, my Tonka truck? Yeah. <laughs> but it's our cute little names. Tonka. If I share it's it that's supposed to make it's, sense. If I share it with the world, it then becomes made fun of for me. It's fine, though. Yeah. And it's okay. Because names are just words. It's like the, the name. It's what you put behind it. Like, like anytime. This. If I walked into your house. And you're like this. Dude, that guy wants to cheat on her so bad, dude. Why did <laughs> dude, look at him. He's just like, that love surge, that means if you don't give it to him, he's going to go and fucking love surge all over somebody else's back. Good lord, dude. <laughs> That's crazy that you would say that. These are real people out there. But that is weird. Like, that I don't like. Like that, do it again. That's another thing. It's like do it in your house. And like you open, and she was like, "We open up." Yeah. And I was like, Don't. "There's nothing for you anymore." Can you just? You can't even keep listen the, the, the weird love shit to yourself. Listen, this is gonna be a quote that you can plaster all over the airwaves. Okay. Sometimes that was the most boomer shit I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. You can plaster this all over the airwaves, all over your twit talk. Kids, when it comes to relationships, remember, not everyone needs to know what your Tonkin truck is. <laughs> That's it. Are you saying Tonka? Tonka. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think I was saying? I, I, it sounded like you weren't saying Tonka. No, I was saying Tonka. Well, okay. you want me to say it more powerful like you do? Fucking Tonka. No, I don't. That's, That's what you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Tonka truck. Have you ever had any cutie names in any relationships? I don't think so. Definitely not something to the, like, you, similar to Tonka Truck. Like, that is just, like, random as fuck. We had, to, we had to cut back. We had to actively say, like, yo, we need to cut back on baby talk. Because we would do it so much with the kids that it would, like, seep into, like, our normal life. 
Yeah, that's when when we did the video and you said blendo. Yeah, and yeah, you had yeah. no idea. Yeah, you, it's just seeping into your life now. It was a lot of people see that and they still laugh about it. Thank you, that's great. It's a four I've year old. S- I've seen four that four year old video. I've seen that clip recently and like you had no idea that you said. It. I I didn't, and it, the, the reason was because blendo. I would talk with Miles <laughs> like that. I'd be like, oh, we're gonna go and we're gonna play Power Rangers. Yeah. And so like blendo. Yeah, it you feels know. racist though, honestly, if I'm like, no. Lendo? Yeah, it just feels like what you just did was racist. I don't know why. Pablo Angels? Yeah. And I'm, we would say the whole sentence. Oh, we're going to go play a Pablo Angels. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Huh. Let's get some. Say something yeah, else. Let's say. <laughs> I'm going to put two things out there. That and something way worse. And let's see what people <laughs> find. <laughs> what people find more I racist. I now say that. Something racist in yeah. <laughs> So the Tonka Trunk, huh? I think it's a cute name, but I get how you would get that. I don't know the bridge. It ha- it couldn't go from that. There had to be a bunch in between. There was so, dude, so much. It's so much, and and like, also a go 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 roll. That's another one that like. Is that your daughter? That's what uh, like Becca calls like. I think Ruby should be like my bad go 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 go. The what's the beginning of that? Bad, like so. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. girl. I thought back. I was like, what? No, it's girl. But like she, in her head, she told me she said it because of like, she was trying to impersonate like a typical like Long Island, like how they would say something like, oh my god, they went out with the girls. Oh yeah. You know, and then it became literally like. It's cute. Listen, each family, as you grow up and you you spend your life with a partner. And you have children, maybe, or dogs. Dude, how many times have you called Charlie fucking, like, little, like, dumpster bitch or something cute? Uh, yeah, he has, a, he has a bunch of names. Like what? Give me, give, give me like, three. Charlie, Charlie, Lowly, Lowly. Well, he's, he was Charlie, then he was Barley, then he was Barls, then he's a bar. A bar? He's just a bar. Bar? Yeah, because, hey, like, bar. Like, I, I literally will call I him I remember bar. Barley. I remember that one. Yeah, and then, he, he became, and then it was just a bar. Like, now, he's not bar. He's a bar. A bar. Yeah. So like if, Eric Ibar. So if I go on vacation or something, I usually my mom watches him and my sister lives next door, so she'll take pictures of him, and I'll just write back a bar, oh. or something. <laughs> oh, it was. It's fucking cute. And my sister does the same thing. Cause I sent her a picture the other day, cause like it was like mad nice out, and like my family group chat was like talking to each other in the morning. So I was I sent a picture. I was like, oh, we're on a breezy little walk, and then she was like, a breezy bar. Oh, <laughs> like that. Yeah, I I've been calling Maeve like a, a bad girl. Like when she like like won't calm down, I'd be like, "You're being a bad girl," and it evolved into a bad banana because she was eating, <laughs> she was eating bananas and making a mess of it. Yeah. So I called her a bad she a bad banana, mm-hmm. and then this morning Becca sent me a picture of her eating, and I just responded, "Oh, look at my big banana." And Becca, <laughs> Becca goes, "Hey, don't don't write that." She's like, uh, "Are you sending me a picture right now? Because it hasn't gone through yet." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say big banana. I would say, look at my... No, it's a banana. Bananito. It's a, it's a banana. It's definitely a banana. It's a banana. It is a banana. <laughs> oh, look at my banana. It's just a banana. <laughs> All right, well, I think we can stop there with the banana cock talk. We just touched tips. Hmm. Um, yeah, where, where I, got it. I, got it, I got it from here. You want me to do it? Go ahead. Throw it to me. F. Alvarez 885 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez and all the forms of social media. Check out that boy at Joe Santagato. You can also check out The Basement Yard on all forms of social media at The Basement Yard. And thank you so much to everyone that has continued to listen, grow, support. We see you. We love you. We're in you. And go check out the Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash The Basement Yard uh, to continue to support us. We really appreciate it. Go check out all of Santagato Studios on YouTube, The Joe Show, other people's live, everything we got going. Going on, go check it out. Signing off, the the fabulous Frank Alvarez. Signing off, the jalopy Joe Santagato. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs>